Welcome back to Vlad Lego. I already showed you in this video three ways how to make clear ice at home, but a quick reminder that you need a small cooler, fill it up with filtered water, and after about 36 hours, you have this clear ice. And if you see this subscribe sign, means I did everything right. You can use it right away in your cocktails or put it back in the freezer without the cooler, of course. I always try to use clear ice for my cocktails. When you take it out from the freezer, let it sit for a few minutes to get warmed up a little bit. If you start making cocktails right away, this will happen and your ice will be no different than the one you get at the Walmart freezer. To work with ice, I use a cutting board, butcher knife to split medium-sized pieces, small knife for details and remove some imperfections, drill with different drill bits, a mallet, two different ice picks but really using only one, torch to remove frost, you don't need it, saw to split large block but if you don't have one this type of knife totally works too let's make a honeycomb shaped ice in the previous episode penicillin cocktail you asked me how to make it i got this piece of wire fence for five dollars at my favorite store nope not a walmart this time i went to home depot cut desired piece of ice you can warm it up with torch to speed up the process put ice on top press it and hold it for a couple of seconds looks nice do it on each side and it goes really well with maybe whiskey and honeycomb cocktails maybe use it in a combination with real honeycomb what this is the easiest and one of the best ice hacks let's make a clear ice cups quick and easy without drilling anything depends what kind of cocktail you want to serve fill up filtered water desired size cup could be plastic or paper and freeze it for five hours remove remaining water from the inside make sure ice is not too thin i test it and you can keep the cocktail for at least 20 to 25 minutes but who drink it for so long Serve any type of cocktails and the best way to put it on a small plate since it looks so clear and perfect you might even forget for a second that it's still ice. Okay next, let's cut the large block into smaller pieces. Make it stick out a little bit from the glass, the double rocks glass is perfect for me. With knife cut something like 45 degree angle and instead of putting ice stamp right on top, make it more visual and presentable when it facing someone you serve it in the spirit or cocktail for. Love of course is my favorite stamp because I love you guys for watching and like in this video we will cut a lot of frozen water today make a large cube and we're going to garnish cocktail a little differently using a saw or large knife cut it in the middle don't press too hard since it might slice completely but we need to cut it about halfway now depends on the cocktail put basil sage or maybe mint leaf inside when you will make few of them it will be a lot easier to get used to shape of ice you use for a specific glass so the liquid won't cover part of the ice with the leaf and your presentation will look great very similar way to use ice as part of the garnish but instead of slicing ice in the middle just drill a small hole on top and place herbs or any leaves inside this one is really simple you can prepare a lot of them in advance and i think it looks better than just put it on top of the ice well but that's for you to decide of course this presentation looks great in the rocks glass but if you use smaller cube of ice you can try it in the coupe glass as well but you can go even step further yeah i know simplicity is not the best way to describe what we do here Drill extra hole closer to top, put a wooden stick inside, it looks so perfect right in the middle of the glass. Plus, if you dilute the drink enough and want to get rid of the ice, it's easier to do it when it's on the stick. Let me know which one do you prefer. I'm bringing back segment Impress Your Date and this one is the most visual presentation that you can use for almost any cocktail. We need to fill up balloon, yep, balloon with filtered water. Let's use a little piece of wire, tie it to refrigerator shelf and let it hang in a freezer for 10 to 12 hours to make sure that the ice is pretty thick but not completely frozen on the inside drill a hole inside depending on how big is the straw that you will use and get rid of water it will take a moment let's put it back into the freezer for a little bit now i need to make some crushed ice since it will be a bad for our balloon yeah keep watching next i will use a martini glass fill it up with crushed ice and place an ice balloon on top strain cocktail through a funnel or show off your skill and strain it right from the shaker it holds drink for at least 25 to 30 minutes, which should be totally enough to impress someone special, right? Quick coffee break with my honeycomb ice leftovers and let's go for more. In similar way, you can use ice cubes and you don't have to wait for 12 hours. Fill up ice mold to the top with filtered water. After two hours in the freezer, turn it around and keep it for one more hour. Get rid of water from the inside and replace it with your desired spirit. You can smash it in the glass, but that would be too simple and we already did it in this video. Instead, Try carefully, and I mean carefully, 
mix it this way by pouring high proof spirit on top of the ice. If you want to try it, I will leave all the links in the description for all tools and equipment I used in today's video. If you think this is cool, wait for the next presentation that called a super cooling martini. This super cooling magic easily could be made using a Japanese refrigerator, yep of course, <laughs> with technology that basically keep water ready to freeze as soon as you take it out and start pouring liquid from the bottle. It costs your yearly salary, so we don't want to spend thousands of dollars, we need to use regular kitchen freezer and time it how long it will take to get temperature just above the freezing point, then it will be ready to be crystallized when you start pouring from the bottle. I tried in two different freezers, for me it was between one and a half and two hours, let's put bottle in the freezer and try not to touch it for 90 minutes. And I wanted to mention that it's so time sensitive, even if you owe 5 to 10 minutes, it wouldn't work. If you take out early, there will be water, or if you take out late, water will be already frozen inside. I used the glass from the freezer and called Olive. Slowly pull water in the middle, the moment water touches the glass, it begins to freeze. Don't make it too big since it might fall on one side. Use gin or vodka from the freezer and enjoy your super freezer martini with iceberg inside. Please don't expect to make it right away with the first try, it took me at least 4 or 5 attempts to figure out right time and amount of liquid needed to make a super freezing mess. Magic. Incredibly thankful to all my Patreon supporters. If you would like to support this channel and get access to extra content, please check links in the description. Thanks to everyone who commented in the previous video how to make a penicillin cocktail. Our bar set winner is Wild Lion 333. Never be afraid to make something new, and I'll see you in the next video.